The first film I made was about Banaz. She was a 17-year-old Kurdish girl in London. She was obedient. She did whatever her parents wanted. She tried to do everything right. She married some guy that her parents chose for her, even though he beat and raped her constantly. And when she tried to go to her family for help, they said, well, you got to go back and be a better wife. Because they didn't want a divorced daughter on their hands, because of course, that would bring dishonor on the family. She was beaten so badly, her ears would bleed. And when she finally left, and she found a young man that she chose and she fell in love with, the community and the family found out, and she disappeared. She was found three months later. She'd been stuffed into a suitcase and buried underneath the house. She had been strangled. She had been beaten to death by three men, three cousins, on the orders of her father and uncle. The added tragedy of Banaza's story is that she had gone to the police in England five times asking for help, telling them that she was going to be killed by her family. The police didn't believe her, so they didn't do anything. And the problem with this is that not only are so many of our kids facing these problems within their families and within their, their families' communities, but they're also meeting misunderstandings and the apathy in the countries that they grow up in. When, when their own families betray them, they look to the rest of us. And when we don't understand, we lose them. 